This video reviews how to bold, italicize, and underline a cell in an Excel workbook using Python's library OpenPixel. Here we have our working document. You can see four strings of text in four different cells that I will be demonstrating these features on. Here I import load workbook from OpenPixel. I assign WB the workbook in memory. I then collect the only sheet of the workbook as the variable WS. And here is where I will be saving my work in this notebook. The first step you must take is to bring in the font object from OpenPixel.styles. Each cell object in OpenPixel has a font attribute that is a font object. Let's take a look at the font object of the first cell of text from our workbook, cell B3. Here you can see the font object and the arguments or parameters you can pass the object. The ones of concern to us today are B for bold, I for italic, and U for underline. Notice how B and I are assigned false, while U is assigned none. Let's work through these one at a time, starting with bold. Assigning font a font object, let's pass the argument B equals true. Let's save and open the workbook to see the change. Here, we see that our first string of text is now bold. Next, let's add an italic to the same string of text. This is done by assigning i equals true. Let's save again and check. Here, we can see our bold and italicized string. Now, let's add an underline to our first string of text. Adding u to the arguments, let's assign this to be true. Doing this causes an error message. Looking at y, we can see that we have tried to assign u an incorrect value. The only value the argument u accepts are single, single accounting, double, and double accounting. These indicate the type of underline we want to use. Visually, single and single accounting look the same, as so do double and double accounting. I don't know if there's any functional difference between them, but I will demonstrate all four styles here. Let's start by applying single to our first string of text. Let's save and reopen. Now we can see we have a line that is underlined, italicized, and bold. I'm going to use the other three strings of text for the other three underline styles. I have written them out in advance and will copy them over to this workbook. Here they are in order of double, single accounting, and double accounting. Let's run all of these cells and save the work. Then we'll reopen for a final time to see how they all compare. Now we can see all strings of text have been formatted appropriately. Bold, italic, single underline for the top, double underline for the second, single accounting, and double accounting for the last two. As you can see, there is no visual difference between the underlines with or without accounting. So this one is quite simple. All you have to do is import the font object from the styles module, and then assign B to true for bold, I to true for italic, or a string of text for the desired underline of your choice for the argument U. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative and helpful. Please do hit subscribe if you found it useful and would like to see more videos like this. And please leave a comment below letting me know what more videos you would like to see regarding OpenPixel or Python.